Today I'm here with my friend and colleague Hong Lan. Hello. Who is a real life Parisian. So I'm going to Paris in a month and a half. I figured you can tell me, teach me some things about Paris. Definitely. Okay. The first thing that I want to know is I've, I've like been living in London, I like grew up in the UK. What's the biggest like shock when I'm going to get there? What's going to be like the biggest difference? There will be a distinct lack of brown sauce, I imagine. Yes. And brown <laughs> some pickles. Branson pickle, yeah. yeah. See, those are both very important parts of well, the French life. You can pack them in your. Okay. No mint sauce. No. What, what condiments exist in Paris? Salt. That's not a condiment. Pepper. That's just default. Vinegar. Okay. Oil. These are all very basic. But because it's already well seasoned. <laughs> so anyway, how... what was the question again? Big, biggest difference in the UK. Biggest difference. Depends. Where are you going to say? It's it's near the canal. The near, near the canal. Which canal? Canal Saint Martin. Canal Saint Martin. So which is <laughs> which is not very far from Gare du Nord. I think you like it. I think sometimes, I think maybe in May, they mm. open up the canal or rather they close it down and you can swim in it. Oh, cool. So I will, I will pack my swimming stuff then. You have That's to. That's one thing that I've learned so far in this you video. Pack my swimming oh, stuff. Oh, I know what you'll be surprised about. What? The summer is actually a real summer with some sun. Hey, that's I, I consider that a, a racist affront on my country. But then, no, I heard I heard that Paris in the summer is smelly and empty because everybody leaves. Well, it, well, it definitely is smelly, and but I suppose it's smelly the whole year. It's just that with the heat, <laughs> it makes it particularly it just bad. It makes it particularly bad. Okay. You'll learn how to like breathe with your mouth as as soon as you get into the tube. It's like when babies, the baby swimmers, yes. they learn how to hold their breath as soon as they get into the water. Yes. It's, exactly it's like that. <laughs> it's yeah. like going underwater. Yeah. Okay. Something that I really like about the Paris tubes is that you can open the door before it before it gets to the station. Yeah. I think it's that's part really of cool. being impatient. And also, oh yeah, that's that's maybe something that will strike you. So one of the reasons why I'm late in London or anywhere else in, in your in the general world, life. It's just because <laughs> from one stop to the next they're very short. One stop is only like a minute. But also when the door opens, you'd better know it's your station because or it's your stop because you'll have to get out of it really quickly compared to the London Because the doors tube. open before you yeah. even get there, you leap yeah, out. Yeah, you leap out and that's it. You've missed it, you've missed it. I feel like that anecdote means that you should be on time all the time rather than being late all the no, time. No, because you're like, well, it's just, it's just like <laughs> five tube stop away, five minutes. Done. Okay, right, I see, okay. Because a tube stop equals a minute in your yeah. head. Right, okay. Well, what's a night out like in Paris? Well, people tend to invite each other to their home a lot more. Or like in the summer, particularly, I remember going with my friends, buying some wine, some cheese, and then sitting um, just by the Seine River. See, that's pretty cool, because I feel like that would be such a stereotypical thing that you actually wouldn't do it. Really? It's like saying, oh, but you know, British people don't really drink tea all the time and go and eat fish and chips. It's like, well, uh, we do, actually. Okay. So, so if I'm in Paris and I'm having a croissant for breakfast... Ooh, that's normal. I have a croissant every day on top of my English breakfast. Oh, really? Is this, yeah. is this how you maintain it's the two cultures? It's a of cultures. Do you have jam on your croissant? No. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you think of, like, um, uh, prep where they have, like, croissants, but it's like a sort of ham sandwich? That's a bit weird. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? Weird. Okay, next question. How do I do a proper, like, Parisian, like... <laughs> buff. Like, buff. Like, What's that? Buff, like, uh, like, 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 Buff. Buff. Mm -hmm. Buff. Yeah, but not both shoulders. There's a, just one. Like you, you do it with both, but there's definitely one that goes a bit higher, I think. Not okay, so hang on. So sort of like. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Like, both. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe just me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. This, see, these are the exact yeah. sort of tips that I'm going to need you see to okay. be like a true Parisian okay. when I get there. What shouldn't I do when I'm there? Like, what's the sort of like what would like. Like single... a no no? Yeah. Well, it's a bit like London. Like, I mean, when you're in, in the tube, mm -hmm. uh, stand on the right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to, I assume you don't talk to people in the, in the tube? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jamais. <laughs> Jamais, is that like... Never. Never, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't smile too much. You look like an idiot. On the tube or in general in my life? Um. What do I need to avoid to like, s avoid instantly calling myself out as like an English person? Oh, asking for some milk in your tea. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I see, I don't have milk tea, in my tea, tea so there you go, I'm good. Tea will not come with milk. What, what else would signal me out as a horrible English person? English person? Apart from the fact that I will just be speaking English for at oh, least the if, first if three weeks. if you ask for any of those condiments. Uh, well, <laughs> have you got any yeah, brown sauce, the please? Brown sauce or, or mint sauce. Mint <laughs> sauce is... is Ue la brown mint. sauce. So I need, to, I need to never ask for condiments, always have black tea, and arrive slightly late. 
Yeah, or have a black coffee even better. Or have a black coffee. And, so, and, and don't... Oh and arrive God, with like a novel under my arm. There's a no-no, big no-no. When that, you have your meal and you ask for a beer, yeah. people will look at you and say, you're British, aren't you? Like, let's find an acceptable excuse. You're not, allowed to, have, you're not allowed to have a beer with... Well, of course not. But with food, that's fine. Well, maybe just with mussels and fries. That's okay, because that's Belgian. That'd be okay. <laughs> but with any other meal, I'm not allowed a beer. Well, sometimes you're not allowed. It's just people will be like, oh, that's a bit... Weird. So like, you're, would... you're supposed to have wine? Yeah. Okay. That's fine though, I like wine. I can have wine. Uh, so what about if I was what about if I was looking for love in uh, in Paris, Hong How does that work? How does the dating looking scene for work? Love. Yeah. Um well, so first there's no concept of dating. Yeah, I find this really weird because like, you told this, me about this before. This is... You don't date, you're either well, do you want together really or talk not. About it? This sort of are we exclusive, not exclusive it doesn't exist. It'd just be awkward. It is awkward in the UK when you I have that. It, I find it really <laughs> awkward. Why would you inflict that to society? This is just weird beyond me. I had to learn. And apparently asking your date on date seven or eight whether they want to have children is, is too early. I mean, how are so you supposed to know? It's a bit uncouth, yeah. I've been is that what you did? It. Yeah, I did that. You were Googling it? Well, I, yes. <laughs> how, to, how to court a British man. No, it was more, what do you do on, on what date, or dating rules, okay. and I'd read all these things. Okay. Um, obviously, I've breached many of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I impress a French girl? Impress her? Mm. Don't be what we call too much. Actually, they use the English phrase too much, and that can be by the appearance, he tried too hard. Okay. That's what it means. So I need to be, I need to be relaxed, I need to not effortless try too hard. Effortless is the key word. In every, your attitude, your... <laughs> You know, there's nothing worse than being overdressed at a social event. So, so don't, I think it'd don't be know. fine with you. Oh, okay, thank you. Well, I did realise that today you've got a nice dress on and I'm wearing my Adidas and some shorts. Yeah, I thought I'd been slowing it all week, so I thought I'd make an effort. Okay, last thing, I've got some, some quick fire, just yes, no questions for you, Hong Lan. Okay, all right, I'm ready. So just quickly, yes or no to each of these. Okay. Should I jump over the barriers to get into the tube like the cool kids? No, you just get in trouble. And that's a bit like... No, no, no. <laughs> is Shakespeare & Co. actually a good place to actually buy books? No. Is it possible to survive on less than about 15 euros a day in Paris? Um, yes. Do I really call everybody monsieur or madame? Everybody. No, like my... don't, don't even say monsieur or madame. Say bonjour. Okay. Remember effortless. <laughs> effortless, effortless, okay. Yeah. Should I watch the film Amelie in advance before I go? It's a bit too cliche, and plus the way she sees the world is way too nice. Will I be ostracised because of Brexit, socially? Mm, you'll just, they'll just laugh about it, thinking it's completely silly. Okay. But not ostracised, I think. Okay. Last thing, most important thing, is it true that you can get good wine for like less than four euros a bottle? No. Not no. in my books. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Alright, I think, I think that's, I think I've learned a lot about Paris now. I think you? I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You prepared? I am. I'm prepared. You I'm can prepared. just WhatsApp me anytime. I will. I will WhatsApp you as well. I need a Parisian <laughs> lifestyle advice. I'll be, okay. Depending on the time zone, they might not be an immediate answer. But <laughs> okay. If, I might have to wait seven hours, but seven eight hours. And say, <laughs> Hold on, date. In freeze. the end, guess what? There's no <laughs> yeah. date, so just say, woman, just freeze. Okay. You just need to wait for the advice. I'm glad that I'm. Prepared. You're prepared. It's fine. And remember, effortless. No effort. Effortless. Yeah. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Just enjoy it. Okay. It's going to be wonderful. That's what we've learned today. Just chill. Just chill when you get to Paris. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, and thank you, Hongmen, for coming along. You're welcome. What a star. Thank you. Um, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Bye. -bye. <laughs>